This video tutorial is intended for informational purposes only. If you attempt to reproduce or perform anything that I have depicted in this video, you are doing so at your own risk. I am not responsible for any damages, either personal or to your property, that may result from performing any of these procedures and modifications. Hey everyone, Kyle here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a save battery into a bootleg Nintendo Game Boy Advance game cartridge. These batteries are present in the carts for all generations of Game Boy games, and they exist in order to preserve your save data. Without them, a cart's built-in SRAM would lose your save data every time you power off your handheld. For the record, the bootleg Pokemon carts you see me holding here typically come without a save battery pre-installed, which is something I'll be covering in a future video. Speaking of videos, please check out these three other tutorials that I've posted. In them, I teach you how to dump Game Boy game ROMs from cartridges, how to replace save batteries in older Game Boy and Game Boy Color carts, and even how to reprogram a bootleg Game Boy Advance card. Those tutorials should serve as a primer to this one. I cannot stress just how incredibly important it is to watch these videos, as I've spent a lot of time compiling all of this information into one convenient place. For this tutorial, here's what you'll need. A bootleg Game Boy Advance cartridge, a fine-tipped soldering iron, a bottle of 70% or higher isopropyl alcohol, a small handful of cotton swabs, some 60-40 tin lead rosin core solder, some paste soldering flux, a roll of electrical tape, a tabbed CR1616 coin cell battery, a mini tri-wing screwdriver, and a pair of scissors. Not all bootleg GBA cartridges are created equal, and there are many different PCB designs. This particular design, which we will be installing a battery on in just a moment, is pretty straightforward. You have a negative contact and a positive one onto which you can directly solder the tabs of your save battery. But now take a look at this design. It's missing those two critical contacts. So while it isn't necessarily impossible to install a battery onto this PCB, it is significantly more difficult to do and requires some extra work. When ordering bootleg carts, there's no surefire way to guarantee that you'll get a cartridge with battery contacts on it. However, my ordering history has only yielded one bad cart out of every 10 I've ordered, so chances are slim that you'd end up in that situation. To buy yourself a bootleg Game Boy Advance cartridge like mine, head over to ebay.com and search for the keywords Pokemon Ruby Reproduction. This should yield quite a few results, but you're looking for the cheapest options, which typically ship out of China. At the time of the making of this video, the cheapest auctions of these bootlegs are selling for around $4 US each. I recommend ordering at least two or three of these carts at a time in order to maximize your chances of getting a good bootleg with the proper soldering points. Also, check out Amazon.com for tabbed CR1616 coin batteries, which are specifically made for installing into Game Boy game carts. Alright, time for the tutorial. Let's get started. Begin by using your tri-wing screwdriver to remove the screw out of the back of your bootleg cartridge. And slide down the top half of your cart shell to reveal the PCB inside. Then gently remove the PCB from the bottom half of the shell. These carts are typically pretty dirty inside, since their memory modules are recycled from other electronics. So use a cotton swab dipped in isopropyl alcohol to wipe down the PCB and remove any debris. Don't worry about getting it too wet, since rubbing alcohol evaporates pretty quickly, and you can always use the other side of your cotton swab to dry up the excess. Our next order of business is to insulate these pins here, since they're so close to the negative battery terminal soldering point. So cut a little square of electrical tape and place it over these pins, taking care to still leave the negative terminal exposed. Next, put some soldering flux on a cotton swab, and then apply the flux to the negative and positive battery terminals on the PCB. Now for the tricky part. 
Use your soldering iron to melt and apply solder to only the battery terminals on the board. Obviously, the negative terminal is the more difficult one, since it's so close to the pins on the ROM chip, so be sure not to bridge any contacts or pins with solder. Afterwards, tin the tabs on your CR1616 cell with solder. Doing this step beforehand will help with installing the battery on your cart's PCB. Now take the battery and set it on top of your board, lining up the ends of the tabs with the soldering contacts on your PCB. Remember to do this with respect to the orientation of the battery and the labels next to the contacts on the board. You will need to solder plus to plus and minus to minus, otherwise this won't work properly. Then melt the solder on the battery tab over the positive terminal on the PCB. This should melt the solder on the board and the tab together. Don't be afraid to apply a little pressure and move the tip of your iron around slightly until all of the solder melts together. Repeat this process for the negative battery tab as well, being careful not to spread the solder to anything else. Keep in mind that you might have to bend the negative tab on your battery down so that it will reach the terminal on the PCB. Once you're done soldering, clean your PCB with some more alcohol on a clean cotton swab to get rid of any extra flux and debris. If there was any excess electrical tape hanging off of your board, like you see on mine here, use this time now to trim it. And now all that's left is to put your cart PCB back into its shell. Just remember to replace the tri-wing screw in the back. And that's it! Your bootleg Game Boy Advance cartridge now has a battery installed and can save game data for ROMs that use SRAM. For more details on how to reprogram your own Game Boy Advance cartridges, please check out the three videos I mentioned earlier in this video. If you liked this video and found it helpful for your own project, please click the like button below. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. When you do, remember to click the bell button so that you receive alerts when I upload new content. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video.